All right, we are revisiting the workshop that we did in the last week before uh, the break of everything, the last time I saw you. Um, and in that workshop, we tried and unfortunately failed to get your phone controlling Ableton, but it's going to succeed now. And a couple of things that are good that are making this possible. One is that Ableton has extended its trial period to 90 days. So if you were thinking, oh, I want to use Ableton, some of you have a cracked version that's naughty. If you want to use a real version for 90 days, you can just download it. If you can't use the trial version for some reason because you already have the cracked version that's screwing things up or you had a student trial and expired, just send them an email. The rumor is, is they're being quite lenient because they want students to buy the software at the end of this. Um, so, uh, get the free version, if you're not the free version, the time limited version, if you want, if you're having trouble with it, try sending them an email, uh, email me, um, we'll work it out. Um, so what you want to be able to do is still send OSC data, which remember is data from your phone to control Ableton. And the reason this is going to work at home and not at uni is because you own your internet at home, right? And it's not set up to prevent you from doing things. It's set up to allow you to do things. Um, the university is paranoid, but your home isn't so much, probably. Um, and, and this is good, your phone and your computer are both on the same Wi-Fi network, probably. Okay, so what you want to do now is you want to go and check that your phone and your computer are on the same Wi-Fi network. So if you're control connecting on your phone via mobile data, don't do that. Connect to your Wi-Fi router. If your home computer is on BT Home Hub 4 or whatever, make sure that your phone is also on that network. You might have to go find the password key at the back of the thing, but get them both on the Wi-Fi network, and that is step one. Once you've got that going, you're already doing better than we were in the workshop, so we're coming out ahead here. Okay, so... What you want to do then is go um, on your computer to your system preferences. Okay, here we are looking at system preferences. We're looking at network, and we can see that our location is automatic. We're connected via Wi-Fi. Um, the Wi-Fi is connected to my propaganda named Wi-Fi network. Sorry, that's actually the name of my Wi-Fi network. Um, and it has the IP address of 192.168.1.108. Okay, this is live data from my computer. This is very exciting. So what we want to do is go back to the phone and uh, open the OSC software that we've downloaded and then get to the settings screen. So some of them will get to the settings screen by default. Okay, and you can see there that the top thing is an IP address and right below that is a port. Okay, so I want that IP address to match what I just saw in my settings. So it does. I looked at my settings and I typed it in. It's 192.168.1.108. Okay, below that is the port. Now, I've set the port to 7099. You can set the port to anything you want, but it needs to match the port in Ableton. Okay, so we've got the IP address right. We've got the port right. Let's talk about what we're going to do in Ableton. Okay, if you've downloaded Ableton, uh, this is probably already in there as, a, as an option, so what you want to do here is type search for the term touch OSC. Okay, I'm not finding anything. Um, it's not in audio effects or MIDI effects, um, and that is because I'm using an old version of Ableton that the university has kindly lent me. Maybe you're using an old version of Ableton too. Don't worry if you can't find it because there's the link on the Moodle of where you can download the software from. So if you are searching for it and not finding it, you want to you've downloaded this M4L Connection Kit Master, and you've got all of these things in here, including uh, ability to use the camera. That might be very interesting. You can do things with the camera. Um, with the weather, why not? Uh, a whole bunch of stuff, but what we care about right now is Touch OSC. Uh, so that's the Touch OSC folder, and then in there we've got uh, a README, an icon question mark, but what we care about is this OSC, Touch OSC AMXD. We take that and we just drag it onto Ableton. Boom, and there we are. Okay, remember earlier I said the port could be anything you want. Right here it's 7099. That's what we want. Okay, um, uh, it needs to match on the phone in that. So if you were using this and then it crashed, maybe um, you're having trouble re-getting the port, you might need to change this, you might need to reboot your computer, but it's important that those two numbers match. Okay, so going back to my phone, 
And here I am on the um, the screen. Okay, I've got the port, I've got the um, IP address, and then I want to hit start to start sending data. So I hit the start button. Okay, and then it highlights end, and then the next thing I want to hit is the controls to get at the controls. And here are a bunch of controls. You can see some faders, some buttons, all sorts of stuff. Whichever one you've picked will have different controls. Okay, so everyone's screen might be different for this. If you happen to have the same one as me, you'll see this. Um, all right, and here uh, you've got the port number, and then you've got this little circle. So I'm scooting my fader up and down, and that little circle is lining up. Because the port matches, it can see that data is incoming. So this is great. This is much further than we got in the workshop. Things are already going really well. Okay, so we're going to hit the Learn button, and then I'm going to hit the fader up and down, and eventually, um, after it gets a bunch of messages, it's learned it. Okay, so I can see that I've got slider 1 there, um, and then the next thing I want to do after I learned it, and this is the right OSC address, is I need to unclick Learn. Okay, don't forget to unclick Learn, because if you have three of these clicked at the same time and you're wiggling uh, one fader, it'll overwrite all of your previous things, so make sure and unclick Learn. Okay. The next thing I want to do is map. So let's map this. This is a lot like MIDI mapping to this fader here. All right. And now I move it up and down, and it moves up and down. OK. Um, I can map to a lot of things, but not everything. So um, let's unclick that and go to audio effects and go to the looper. We like the looper. All right, what I can do is um, notice that I'm on one of these things. It's not here, it is here. So I want to primarily use this to control one thing, although I could also control this amplitude. I can control all the relative amplitudes, um, uh, but I can't control everything. So let's uh, use another fader. Okay, I've got another fader. I unclick learn, that's really important, and then I do map. And I want to map this one to feedback. Okay, so now feedback is going up and down. Maybe uh, use another fader. Learn, I'm wiggling the fader up and down. It's appearing. I unclick learn. Don't forget to unclick learn. I click map, and I'm going to map that one to speed. And it's kind of working. It's a little, there we go. If I go slower, it works better. Okay, I can't map this with everything. For whatever reason, this button, uh, the multi-purpose transport button, which is the thing you might most want to map, isn't working. Not everything is going to work. So try by trial and error. Um, try mapping something. If you can't map it, then um, uh, you can't map it. Uh, but a lot of things you can. This is a way to get a lot of hands-free control, or not hands-free, but screen-free control of your Ableton session. Some stuff you will still have to use the GUI for, uh, but you've got a lot of control now, and you guys can use this when you're doing your projects, if you're doing the original project, which you have the software and the hardware to be able to do with these things, so I hope to see a lot of cool audio projects. Um, okay, uh, thanks very much.